Welcome to Pixel Composer 1.16.5. In this version, come with a number of nodes and an improvement. So let's get to it. The first one is the Blockify node, which is a node that will round off the corner of your image. For example, when you have a particle animation like this, you can set it to the Blockify and you will see that, you know, the corner, the sharp corner between each circle particle will be round off. But it will also remove some of the smaller particles as well. Next is a full noise node. So this node will allow you to generate a full cloth patterns. You can increase or decrease the size or the scale of the noise. You can also modify the complexity or the octet of the noise. And there are also a stretching properties which allow you to create some interesting animation. We also have the bend node which allow you to bend an image using a different preset shape. In the current version, we only have two shapes. So we have an arc shape where it's gonna bend around a point of a circle and we have a wave shape that is gonna bend in a wave format like a flat. Then we have shape blur node. So this node will allow you to blur an image using another image as a blur shape. So like we have this image, we send it to the shape blur and now we're gonna use a star shape like this, set it as a blur shape. Now you can see that the image look well kind of blurry, right? But it's kind of hard to see in the normal mode. But if you zoom in closer, you're gonna see that there are some star shape here and there. Then we have another noise node. This time is a strand noise, which generate noise that consists of multiple strands or lines. You can increase or decrease the density of the lines. You can uh, adjust the range of the line slope so that it becomes a little more uniform or less uniform. There's an X and Y axis you can change. You can also add in curve or wave to bend the lines. There's a different property that you can use to control the, the curvature of the lines. And there's two different render modes. There is a line mode and the area mode. When we set the area, you will see that instead of just shading in a line, it will just shade out the left side of the line spread on the opacity of that line. And all the same idea of the strand noise, there are also a bubble noise, this time only for, for Patreon supported, which do the same basic concept as a strand, but instead run it out as a circle. And lastly, we have the project data node. This one is a pretty niche, but it allows you to extract information of the project itself. For example, the project step name or the current file location. So this can be really useful when you want to export an image relatively to the project location. If you enable visibility in the part output, you can now connect this value to the part property in the export node. Right? And then you can play, play around with the part template to set it to save at the same location or you know the same directory relative to the project save position. And then we have a several improvement to the already existed node. The anisotropic noise got a different render mode. Then the NK range, we got the lifespan properties and the size and opacity over lifespan and the fading property, which are the render to render out as a gradient instead of just one solid line. Uh, there's an improved performance for a uh, scatter noise and there's some maximum blend mode. The particle and the VFX node now have built in line renderer. So in the render property, you'll be able to change from render out as a sprite to a line and it's just gonna render a particle out as a line. The scale and the color properties now we also apply to the line as well and you can adjust how many frames it wants to draw the line on. And next is Fill Region node which also got an improvement. First is an Inner Fill option and there's also a Color Map mode. So instead of using a palette and it's just gonna random color based on each region, you can now give it a color map which will color in the region based on where it is on the color map. Then the level node also got an improvement, there's addition of the output level as well. And warp node also uh, got some UI improvement, there's some warp guide that you can see when you're adjusting the corner. The pulling noise also got an improvement, especially at the lower iteration to make it look better. The 3D cylinder got an option to disable end caps. The transform node also got an alpha properties. The replace color node also got an option to disable the automatic palette refresh. So when you work with a large image, you connect it to the three phase color, it will just detect all the color in the image automatically. And that can be slow, it can be laggy. So if you don't want it to do that, you can disable it in the node setting tabs. And now you have to refresh it manually using the refresh button in the inspector. And lastly, the Serial Noise node got an update in the crystal type that used to be uh, non-tileable. It is now tileable. And that's all for new node and node improvement. Next will be the interface. First is a lot of the enum scroll. So the scroll that you can click in this option to select. A lot of them now got an extra icon for you to see, like for example in the shape node. You click on the shape, you will see now that, you know, what shape it actually re represent. Just make it easier for you to navigate, right? And that's also appear in many other uh, enum data as well. There's a uh, multiple improvement on multiple node selection and inspecting. Like when you select multiple nodes of the same types, you can now use inspector to change the value of every single node you are selecting. But if you select multiple nodes of multiple types, like this case, and you will see that in the inspector now will show the property of every single node you are selecting up to 10 nodes and uh, extra preference setting that allow you to disable a version warning notification and as usual there are a series of bug fix in this version 
And that should be it for today. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.